Right now, this video is going viral all over the internet. A St. Louis couple drew guns on a group of demonstrators passing by their house in a gated neighborhood. In a viral video, the couple, identified as personal injury lawyers Mark and Patricia McCloskey, are shown holding a rifle and pistol, respectively, on the front lawn of their home Sunday. They pointed the weapons at protesters but did not fire. Mark McCloskey later told local news station KMOV the protesters rushed towards his home during dinner and threatened to kill his family and dog and burn his house. Authorities said the couple saw weapons in the crowd and armed themselves in response, according to the Associated Press. No charges have been filed. Police say an investigation is ongoing, but the case is being treated as trespassing and intimidation by protesters. First things first. Peaceful protests or not, the protesters were trespassing. In Missouri, unlawfully entering someone's property or staying on their property without their permission means you've committed the offense of trespass if the property owner gives you notice that you can't come onto the property. They can give this notice by installing a fence, telling a person that they can't enter, or posting a no trespassing sign. There was a gate with a sign that said private street access limited to residents and another sign that said private street, no trespassing. And no one let the protesters into the neighborhood. They just opened or broke the gate and marched in. And thus, they were trespassing. As for the husband and wife, the husband's gun handling in this situation was recklessly atrocious. But he still had every right to do what he did. Missouri is an open carry state and he was on the property. So if he wanted to carry his rifle while standing on his property with no shoes on and a pink polo as a precaution to the protest, have at it chief because that's his constitutional right. Whether you like it or not, his wife however is a different story. There is a huge difference between carrying a firearm and pointing a firearm. This is carrying a firearm. This is pointing a firearm. This is someone exercising their constitutional right. This is someone possibly committing an assault. I say possibly because I wasn't there. I don't know what was being said to her. Someone in the crowd may have directly threatened her life. And if you take their word for it, that's what they said happened. But it's he said, she said at this point. Mark McClowski says the protesters smashed through gates on their street and this is all private property. He also says that he and his family were threatened. Now we did check the area this morning. You can see the wrought iron gate is now gone. There is a chain link gate up with a pink ribbon on it. As soon as I said the words private property it enraged the crowd, there was um, then a horde of people coming through the broken gate. I mean, the gate was broken in pieces. I've, I've uh, sent you the photographs of it. Um, and there were, I don't know how many people, there a tremendous number of people, all angry, all shouting, all coming towards us. Just understand, if you're gonna point your gun at someone, you better be doing it because your life is in immediate danger and not because you just wanna scare or intimidate someone. Because that, my friend, is assault. Not to mention how incredibly dangerous it is to point a gun at someone while your finger's on the trigger, ever. But let's get to the deeper issue of this situation. I am very pro-protest because I believe the First Amendment is protected by the Second Amendment. That being said, as peaceful as this protest may or may not have been, once you start bringing that type of energy to people's homes, don't be surprised when the guns come out. In my mind, people's homes should be off limits. People have families. Your house should be a place of peace and rest. And when you start interfering with that sanctity, people get viciously defensive. Also, am I the only person who finds it ironic that there are people losing their minds over the fact that this couple pulled out guns after 200 to 500 people showed up in their private community when one of the main reasons these people were there was because the mayor put out people's personal information and address into the public. But there are a lot of people upset with Mayor Cruson outside of the crowd. ACLU called it a shocking and misguided that she would release the addresses of people looking to defund the police. Alderwoman Megan Green even tweeted and said the mayor's move was quote unquote, not cool. Alderwoman Kara Spencer also chimed in saying no leader to resort to intimidation. Know that she is challenging Mayor Cruson for her job title. Yes, 500 protesters breaking your gate into your gated community after seeing how fast some of these protests, not all, but some, can dissolve into pure chaos is scary as hell. And if it were my house, you shouldn't be surprised if you see me standing outside my house looking like an African warlord with Future playing over a loudspeaker. However, with standing all of that, this is not okay unless she was actually being attacked or her life was being threatened. And I didn't see that in the video, but it doesn't mean it didn't happen. I just didn't see that in any of the video. Long story short, both of these two need some serious gun training ASAP. The husband had every right to do what he did 
as he didn't intentionally point the gun at anyone intentionally being the operative word and we need more facts to determine if his wife was justified in pointing the gun intentionally the way that she did and to the protesters understand you have a right to protest and i agree with that right but you can't be surprised by situations like this when you're protesting in a gated private community or any residential community at that there were 200 to 500 people you may be peaceful but there may be other people in that sea of 200 to 500 who are not I don't trust large crowds. I don't care if they're there to see the Pope. I'm looking at everyone suspiciously. I'm not saying that you keep, that you could just shoot people simply for trespassing, but please believe, once you start protesting in people's neighborhoods, everyone there will be on super high alert. Right now, there's a culture war against the Second Amendment, which is why I need your help spreading our message to counter their message. You can help do this by leaving a comment, sharing this video, and clicking the bell and subscribe button. Let my voice be your voice and let them know you want to keep America tactical because the right to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed wasn't a suggestion, it was a directive. Also, if you're wondering where to purchase your AR-15s are essential, I will not comply. I am the militia. I lost all my guns in a boating accident and your state specific Keep America Tactical shirt. Click the link next to my head or the link in the description section. Or if you're watching this on a mobile device, tap the small triangle on the lower right hand side of this video and click the link in the description.